The Capra is probably YT's best known mountain bike. But 2022 has seen a host of updates, including a brand new frame, updates to its geometry, and a revised suspension kinematic. We've managed to get the range topping core four building for testing, and this is our full review. As I've just said, the YT Capra has had a pretty big update for 2022. We'll start with the most obvious here, and that lies within the wing. And on this bike, it's been moved to the right-hand side of the frame. So that now makes space for a water bottle. Along with that, the bike's optical weight has been shifted towards the down tube and the chain stay, and that's in a bid to boost stiffness. So YT has fettled with the Capra's geometry a bit. And on this size large, it now gets a 4.67mm reach. That's paired with a newly slackened 64.5 degree head tube angle, a steepened 77.6 seat tube angle, and this frame gets a 4.38mm chainstay. And that chainstay grows on the XL and the double XL frames. While our test bike comes shod with 29 inch wheels, the YT Capra is also available with an MX build or a mullet wheel setup. Not only does that offer a rowdy ride, but it also gives you 170mm travel at the rear, and of course, that smaller rear wheel. But that chainstay is built especially for that wheel. So moving on to the spec, we've got the Capra in its highest end build, and that's if we ignore the uncaged models. This bike will set you back £5,715 all in. So for that money, we get Fox factory suspension with a Fox 38 at the front and a Flow X2 at the rear. Front travel, we've got 170mm travel, and at the rear, we've got 165. Crisp shifting comes from SRAM's X01 mechanical group set. And that comes with 12 gears and that most important 52 tooth cog at the rear. Then the bike rolls on a pair of Crank Brothers Synthesis alloy wheels and they come built especially for the front and rear of the bike. So at the front it's a little bit more compliant and at the rear it's a little bit stiffer. So finishing off the spec, this bike comes with a Renthal cockpit and that comes with a 35mm clamp diameter. Paired with the 38 fork, that results in a hugely stiff front end. As for the dropper post, it, that comes from YT and that's their own Postman dropper post. And unfortunately this is a little bit of a downside in the spec because it just doesn't match the sheer luxury that you're getting everywhere else. It's a little bit strange because it depends on where you sit on the saddle. If you're sat in a certain place it gets really stiff to drop, but then in other places it's totally fine. It's confusing bit of a downside but it can be quite a cheap upgrade. Now onto the ride and YT's revisions to the bike's geometry makes the Capra a really easy bike to get on with. That new seat tube angle places weight very nicely over the pedals so you've got a really comfortable position from the start. That new 467mm reach helps things to get a little bit more comfortable and offer a slightly roomy cockpit. However, it's definitely not the longest reach in the world, especially when we compare that to bikes such as the Specialized Enduro and the Nuke Roof Mega. Both of those get reaches north of 475mm. However, this could be seen as a little bit of an upside. So where the short reach makes things a little bit nervous when things get steep, it makes it accessible and comfortable and like I said, really easy to get on with from the first go. So something that I did find with the bike is it is reasonably tall and that paired with the big wheels and the extra travel does mean it takes a bit of extra muscle to get this bike into the corners. However, it doesn't take long to master thanks again to the bike's shortness. As a side note, YT includes a zero stack headset cap in the box so if you are looking to lower that stack a little bit, it's really easily done and free of charge. I've glossed over how comfortable this bike is to sit over, but unfortunately it's just not the most efficient when it comes to climbing. That's thanks in part to some pretty draggy tyres, but that's mostly due to a rather unruly suspension kinematic when pedalling. It's very responsive to pedalling input, and that's even with some added anti-squat from YT, and even when putting on a load of low speed compression. Because YT has added a little bit of anti-squat, it adds a poppy characteristic to the bike. So when you're going through routes, it's really happy to pop off of some rocks and get airborne, regardless of the amount of travel that's on offer. That rear end doesn't wallow in the corners either, because when it reaches the mid-stroke, you're welcomed with a heap of support. Then the supple but progressive end stroke makes dodgy huckster flat feel like you're getting away with absolute murder, making use of the full comfort blanket with the big travel. If we move on to the value, the Capra is looking rather good. Having a look at the specialised Enduro Comp, that'll set you back £6,350. It gets the very same drivetrain as this bike, but it gets downgraded suspension and downgraded brakes. However, its geometry is much more aggressive. Then at £5,800, there's Canyon's Strive CFR. 
that gets Fox factory suspension and a Shimano XTR drivetrain. However, that bike's geometry is far more conservative than this. And there we have it. That is our full review of the 2022 YT Industries Capra Core 4. For a more in-depth look at this bike, head over to www.off.road.cc. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe where you can find more reviews on bikes just like this. You can even follow along with the Off-Road CC race season. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.